All right, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to mash a couple of uh, fishing sessions together. I've got today, I've uh, got some uh, thread fin and some dew and stuff like that, so you'll see that. And then I'll take it back to a previous uh, session I did a couple of days ago, or sorry, a couple of weeks ago. Fishing has been a little bit quieter just of recent, and uh, the weather hasn't been much fun either. So limited options for me to get out, unfortunately, uh, after my trip up north. But uh, I've got a few fish here to put together, so we'll check this out. Oh, hello. Have <laughs> live bait rigged him. <laughs> He's ready to drop out for a shark. <laughs> it's full live bait rigged. That's a solid brim. <laughs> See a lot of brim. Got something a bit better than a brim. Got some fish on the scan here. Quite a lot of fish on the scan here. Only quite shallow. There you go, fish. Probably another brim, I think. A bit better than a brim. Oh, that's a big brim. <sighs> that's a really solid brim, that one. Up in the mid 30s, I reckon. That's a good brim, all the same. I hope they're not all brim I'm seeing here, but. What do we got here? A bit of fish. A little dewy. <laughs> I've live bait rigged him. <laughs> He's ready to drop out for a shark. <laughs> <laughs> it's full live bait rigged. Oh, that's a tiny little Jew. I thought there was something bigger than a brim there. It's not much bigger than a brim, but it's bigger than a brim, just. All right. We'll keep plugging at it, see if we can get something bigger. Really good to see these little Jew around anyway. This fish probably, you know, a year old or something, maybe. He's gonna have a scar on him for this battle. Oh, little Jew, just a little fella. See if we can upgrade that.
little one. It's taking some time. <laughs> Working hard today. And uh, we're in the river. Chasing fish in the river. We've got a few fish this morning, but not a lot. We've done it pretty tough. We've finally got something decent. We've got a small thread fin here. Not very big at all, a little fella. But I've been plugging away on a few for a little bit. Trying a few different lures, and I've just gone down to the little Molex RT shad, uh, three and a half inch, and that's done the job. All right, let's get him in and have a look. All right, get you a little look at him. Little thread fin, nothing big there. I'll put him on the measure just for uh, interest sake, but I'm guessing about 60, 70 centimeters. He's eating that little Molex RT shad there, three and a half inch on a three eighth ounce jig head. Now I'm trying some new braid. I've got some sinking braid. So that braid will get down. It'll start sinking with the lure and keep that lure a bit lower. And I won't have to wait as long between hops basically is the way I'm thinking about it. It seems to do the job on a new rod as well, a new Amp 3. So just trying a new rod, works the lure quite well. And not that I put a big tussle, but got me a fish on it. Yeah, he's not a, not a big fish. He's 70 centimeters, that fish. That little uh, Molex RT shad there. I'll pop that out. AU Silver Flake. It's a green with a clear with some silver fleck through it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's pop this little guy back in. Uh, just a small, small fish, that one. Good little fight in the rod. All right, pop him back in, try and get a bigger one. See if we can get a bigger one today. There you go. Bit of wind today, so I'm just gonna do a little river session here. Um, I've, I've done it pretty tough this morning, as I said before. I've got a little dew and I've got a couple of nice brim, but uh, that's been pretty much it. Now I've just got myself a little thread fin, Pop down a little plastic, trying to do a finesse sort of thing. That seems to be working. So I'll keep sticking with it. We're uh, we're getting close to tide change. You never know, tide changes may get the fish going. We'll uh, we'll see. All right, I'll just run you through how I'm running that lure and see if we can get another one. All right, so I've got fish on the scan here. I've got uh, both sounders running. I, I can see some fish out to the right hand side of the boat here, and I'm just. Uh, Throwing this little RT shad out. I think I've got some 30 pound leader there. Just popping out about where I think the fish are going to be. Maybe a little bit further and bring it back towards the boat. Now, as I said before, I've got this sinking braid. It's a new braid from Sunline. It's only um, 20 something pound. This one's 1 1.5 in diameter. Uh, and what that just means is it's going to throw the lure out. If I put the, the line of water like that, it starts to sink straight away. So it's just going to stop the stop the line blowing up off the off the water as easily and it's going to help get that lure deck back down the bottom uh, especially if i cast the lure out and let it sink on a tight line then the, the line's going to sink down with the lure as well and um, between every hop it's going to get down quicker than than basically a, a non-sinking line so not a not a huge you know huge difference but um just something little that might help and yeah, just giving it that kind of couple of shakes. Get on the bottom, hop, hop, hop off the bottom, uh, letting it drift back with the current, which we don't have a lot of at the moment. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this tide will, uh, will oh, don't know if that was a fish or not that one. Tide will turn and you know, maybe, maybe we'll uh, we'll get some fish to, to bite a bit better. It's been a bit slow going today. I haven't seen a lot of fish on the sounder. Um, I've seen a few. Enough that I thought I would have probably caught a bit more than I have today, but um, yeah, we'll stick with it. You know, obviously I just got that fish. You never know. Keep working. I've got, yeah, I've got some fish on the scan there, definitely. So just trying the subtle approach with the the little plastic. Uh, I'll, I'll keep going, going for a little bit longer, and then I might even go more subtle. I think and go like a really light jig head uh, with a straight tail plastic, just for something super finesse um give that a go see how we go oh hello good morning 
All right, we're back out. Southeast Queensland again. It's been a little while. Been up north fishing. And I've had a bit of a break. But I'm back out today and first thing this morning, we got a nice little freddy. Not a big fish. It's a whole stack there I saw just before. Found a school I knew I was going to hook up pretty much. Play it for a little fella. All right, get the pliers out and pop the hooks out of him. Off you go, buddy. See you later. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. different this one. Not a big fish, but he's a bigger fish, so it's always good. He's a reasonable fish, up around 800 or so. He's taking that on the side, that one. Hooks out. Beautiful fish, beautiful clean fish. Really nice clean fish, that one. Off he goes. Just seeing if I can see any more on the sounder. There's obviously a pack of them that I was driving up on the outboard and seen a pack, so I just uh, stopped, put the electric down, electric back, and uh, yeah, had two casts and got on them. That one there is sort of chafe the leader a tiny bit a ways up from there so that's uh that's 40 pound leader not really any much damage to it so let's keep going on that all right so i've talked about the two sounder system before but yeah just really quite critical um that two sounder system you can you can target the fish so much better when you've got you know information coming from the front of the boat and the back of the boat you can tell which way the fish are moving um, I can turn the electric head and have a little bit of a scout around, get just that, just those couple of meters of heads up on where the fish are and going to be is just so important. It's just not funny. So, yeah, I can't emphasize again how important that two sounder system is for the way I fish. Um, I wouldn't catch anywhere near as many uh, fish if I didn't have it. So, uh, you know, everyone buys two, a lot of people buy two sounders and well, there's, there's a few fish there. I've just got the heads up from the, the front sounder. So I've just pumped a cast out between the two sounders. It's come through in the back now. So I might be a little bit behind. There's one fish there, but there was probably three or four on the initial scan. And yeah, again, I wouldn't have seen them till those fish were level with the back of the boat rather than seeing them as the front of the boat come up to them. So 
it really does make a pretty big difference thing. So I'm gonna be ready with the rod in my hand and then looking at the sounders and waiting. And as soon as I see fish, I can cast or see him come through the front sounder, I can cast off onto the back sounder scan, the distance that I think that the fish are at. And then as I drift forward, the fish should come through that scan on the back as well. And then I've got supreme confidence that I've got the lot, the fish lined up the right distance and all that sort of stuff.